All right, this is called the blocking drill. This is very important because this allows us to really transfer all of this momentum we build up into our bodies. So when I jump, boom, boom, at toe off, the moment my toe leaves the ground, I start moving into the air. I've got this nice forward lean. You've been working on these different drills and you've got this great forward lean to take off a straight line between your head down to your toe, right? Now, what do we do with our arms and what do we do with legs as soon as we start to leave the ground? Now there's four different commonalities in jumpers, elite jumpers that have, studies have shown these four major types of takeoff positions. The first is the two arm, so it's the double arm block. So if I jump, boom, 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 boom. And you typically see kind of the arms come in and around, but boom, the arms, two arms come up it's usually associated with a hang, but it's not exclusive to the hang. But you commonly see a two arm with a hang or a sail where they'll go boom, and then they'll bring it down and around. Boom, two arm, right? Now you're still blocking, boom. So your, your arms are coming up and they're stopping. The second you see is a punch. This arm comes up into a nice uh, rear 90 position. This arm comes up into a nice rear position, but you see this toe pointed and it's pointed and your leg is tight in like this. So they go boom, boom, boom. Okay, the third you see is this. So you see this up at 90 with the toe pointed up. So this is a nice 90 degrees, you're up and you have another variation with that with this, sometimes you'll see the arm come around or you'll see the arm come up. But regardless, the back arm is at 90, this is 90, and this is 90. So you've got this or you've got this. Then the final one you'll see is this nice 90 position, but this arm will come out with a more of a carry and this arm will come out straight and you'll see the thumb turn outward. So we'll go boom. Boom, all right? And that's usually associated with like a hitch kick or a double hitch kick. So boom, so really the common four common things are you've got the two arm, you've got the arm in tight with foot pointed, you've got this arm coming out here or coming here, you've got the back arm coming here or coming here, you've got this arm coming here or coming here. So all of those are okay, but they all time in to being block. The blocking is a transfer of momentum from the arms and legs into your body. So I'm gonna take my arms and I'm just gonna swing them around. And if I lock my legs, lock my hips, and I'm gonna actually pull my toes off the ground, so I'm gonna get on my heels. If I spin my arms around real quick and I block them or stop them here, I can get off the ground because that energy transfers from my arms into my body and that momentum carries me upwards. So I'm here, I'm gonna block, block. And you can see that I actually get some of the energy transfer me off the ground. It's not a lot, but it's subtle, but it's effective, right? So when I jump, boom, I'm gonna block. I'm gonna imagine this camera is now Sports Illustrated photographer. When I jump, I want them to see that bicep, take a picture of that bicep, boom. I wanna take a picture of that, boom. Really, really stop and block. So the drill, we can start off with a walk and use that, that penultimate knee when I take off to swing through and block. So I'm gonna walk, boom, 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 boom. And I really bring that knee through as fast as I can, boom, and then stop it, okay? And I really bring that arm through and then stop it, all right? Then I do it with the jog. Boom, 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 boom. And really bring that knee through and bah, pop the arms and whatever the athlete wants to do, boom, boom. Just stop that fast momentum and then stop. That's the blocking drill.